Hello and welcome back to the third video of this how-to guide on how to navigate Deacon Sync and the unit clouds. So one of the most common things that you'll do with Deacon Sync is use it as a pathway to your unit courses, which are these ones here. So on startup, Deacon Sync will automatically show you your enrolled units. However, you can also see your upcoming units you have nominated for future trimesters simply by selecting all units. So you'll also see trimester 2 and trimester 3 here, but if you haven't enrolled in any yet, um, you won't see them there until you're ready to enrol in them. You can also see past units. So anything in green here is a unit that I've completed. Um, this purpley colour is a duplicated unit purely used for um, the credit point system because I transferred courses at some point. So these are all past units and you can also access these past units. Say, say if there's something, a resource in there that you found particularly useful, you can access that unit again to see that resource. If you click the course resources tile, you will be shown a tile that is linked to the cloud site associated with your course. In my case, it's criminology, so feel free to explore yours at your own leisure. We've also got useful extras. Now, useful extras is particularly important pertaining to Unistart. Now, Unistart is essentially for all new students, which is why I think it's quite important, especially for you, because being a new uni student, you'll want to know the ins and outs of how to go about uni life, and Unistart pretty much covers everything about that. So from your first trimester, to your digital tools, so on and so forth. And what they do is they outline these in resources under different subheadings and so on. Deacon Sync also goes into the digital tools. So anything that I don't cover in my videos, um, Unistart will also cover. So once you've checked out everything I have to offer, feel free to check back in with Unistart and they'll pretty much cover anything that I haven't. And for that reason, I couldn't recommend these guys enough. So if you have the spare time and you're wanting to get your head around university from how to avoid plagiarism, how to use Turnitin, which is the university's program used to detect plagiarism, um, how to navigate Deacon Sync other than what I've shown you already, um, come back to these guys and they'll give you everything you need. Now, as you can see, every time you select a unit tile, it takes you to another tab. So I'm going to select Crime, Surveillance and Technology, and it's opened up another tab. That means Deacon Sync's always ready and available for you to use. So you might open up the uh, unit site, but then you want to go browse the library. You can do that just by quickly switching back and forth between the tabs. So here I've selected Crime, Surveillance and Technology and here is the news feed. Now the news feed is where unit staff post updates and information about the unit. You can also have the option to have all of this detail emailed to you, which is an important trick that I didn't realize you could do until later in the trimester. Now in order to do this, and this applies to not only newsfeed information, but it also applies to um, assignment due date alerts and so on and so forth. You go up to your profile, which is this little box here. In my case, it's Thomas Storb. You click that and then you click notifications. Now, in notifications, when you click a box here, it will email whatever it is that will happen here. So for assignments, you have the option to have a submission folder due date or end date is two days away. That is essentially a reminder to say that your due date for one of your assignments is two days away and that will be emailed to you. So you can select that and you can select anything else that you would like emailed to you. This, can, this will include newsfeed items and grades and so on and so forth. Once you do it for one unit, you do it for every unit because it is your cloud profile. That is the same profile that is used for all of your unit sites. Cool. The home page also provides you with information relating to the week you are in. So that's over here. 
It also pertains information to unit staff, which is more often than not the unit chair, so in this case, Darren Palmer, and any upcoming assessments, which is down here. So I've got a policy report due on the 30th of May. 